everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make these wax cord seed bead friendship bracelets. I think they are super fun to make and they are awesome because they require less wax cord than the previous bracelets we have made together. Also, supplies are actually quite cheap if you use Michael's Crafts coupons or purchase beads from the dollar store. I purchased these awesome moon charms from Michael's Crafts. It was about $4 for this whole strand of charms. Next, I bought these silver-lined glass seed beads from Dollar Tree for $1.25. The last supplies you will need are wax-coated polyester cord, a lighter, scissors, a ruler, and finally, jewelry pliers if you decided to include a charm on your bracelet. To begin, I cut 18 inches of wax-coated thread. I then cut another strand 12 inches long, and finally a 4 inch strand for the closure. That is all the thread you'll need for this bracelet. Taking the 18 inch strand first, I untwisted one end and separated the two strands that comprise this cord. It will be quite curly at first, but you can stretch this out to eliminate the curls. You will only need one half of the 18 inch strands for this project, so you can set the other aside to make another bracelet later. I did the same thing to the 12 inch strand and set the 4 inch strand aside for later use. Taking one of the 18 inch strands and one of the 12 inch strands, I first tied a few knots about 5 inches from the end of the 18 inch strand. I then folded the 12 inch strand in half and tied it just above the knots I tied onto the 18 inch strand. Making an additional square knot, I then proceeded to braid these ends together to form one half of the closure. Ensure the braid is at least four inches long before knotting all three strands together and then melting down the ends. Now that we have one of the sides braided, we can then start beading on the other side of the 18 inch strand. I put seed beads on for about 2.5 inches before attaching a charm. If you do not want a charm, just thread the beads until you reach 5 inches of beaded area. If you decide to add a charm, take the pliers and carefully remove the charm from the packaging. Then reattach its jump ring to the wax cord you have been threading beads onto. I decided to make the jump ring as tight as possible to make sure the charm did not slide around the bracelet. After threading on the charm, I then added another 2.5 inches of beads. Once you are done beading, make several single knots onto the cord you have been threading beads onto. Taking the second half of the 12 inch cord from earlier, fold it in half and make two square knots just above the knots you made in the beading cord. Finally, you can braid the ends until you reach about 4 inches again, knotting the three strands together and melting down the ends. To make the closure, we do the same as the previous wax cord bracelet tutorials. Depending on what the charms are made out of, this bracelet should be water resistant like the other bracelets we have made together. I have already made several seed bead bracelets because I think they are gorgeous and I love attaching all sorts of charms. 
I really hope you guys liked this tutorial. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye!